wherever you are in the world. Whatever culture you're from, with all the different environments, values, resources, and beliefs, the one thing we all must focus on now in these times is to focus on improving our mental strength and body's health much more. To have a better understanding, we must keep it simple. We must all work together and get strong, united. Materials, relationships, experiences all come and go, but our bodies are what carries us through our lives, and we must understand that it is a choice to take responsibility and to respect that. Pay more attention on how to nourish, protect, and condition ourselves so we can live life to the fullest potential. To get strong again. To pay attention on how you personally respond to certain foods and training exercises. We must do research and ask questions. To feel the good pain of discipline and correct exercise and ridding weakness, not the pain and illness and deteriorating. In the wild animal kingdom, everything revolves around finding the day's meal. Let's never stray too far from our instincts. To gather our foods fresh and prepare it is meditating and satisfying. People usually don't want to be disturbed or made uncertain, so we establish a pattern of conduct, a pattern of thought, now a slave to the pattern to be a real thing. Stress scared and fearful, confined in an invisible prison, along with working long hours and within the political games, easily has a negative impact on our immune system. The Scars Arena Story, The Philosophy is a free mind and simplicity. The shortest distance from point A to B, not taking winding detours. To clearly see what is wrong with all the illusions and delusions and breaking through limiting behaviors and patterns. Deciding to return to the basic principles in a sea of confusion and disinformation. It's taking action for freedom, facing fears, returning to strength, health, and simplicity. It's mastering the will with a calm mind. Appliable mental awareness. Don't be concerned with escaping safely without a scar. Don't look back, look forward. We must balance out our actions that we should spend on from high importance to less urgent, technology, and be aware your lack of engagement in real life. Manage yourselves or you will deteriorate. Finding comfort in the uncomfortable, unfamiliar situations is an adaptive attitude that strengthens the character and gives freedom and happiness along the way. If you try to keep in familiar, comfortable situations, you will eventually inflict useless mental suffering upon yourself. Our immune systems are compromised. We are living in the age of spin and disinformation. Our minds are under attack and our sleep is worse than ever. So we should be learning to power up our overall health and natural immune systems and seek to understand how our bodies and minds work better and take action. We must approach this in a very simple, direct manner. We are disregarding the natural circadian rhythms that elicits rhythm phase shifts. Exposure to excessive screen time at night can disrupt sleep or exacerbate sleep disorders. Too much exposure to stress from negative fear-inducing media. We must find and pay attention to uncensored information. Lack of movement and not breathing fresh oxygen deeply or seeing expressive faces. Understanding honest communication through facial expressions. Body language. We are paralyzing ourselves with methodical routine with no movement and fear. Ugly, paralyzing, useless fear. It is our choice. Make a decision. Return back to the natural order. Back to nature. We have become soft from overprotecting from danger, excess worry, anxiety not realizing you're destroying your life from this state of mind. What happened to hugs? That's the reason for our immune systems. It's to be in constant relationship with germs and bacteria that are always a part of life. 
so be more concerned with stagnation and become weak and fragile than getting a scar or a flu. Do more physical training. We are now only overcomplicating the natural and making excuses. Get up, attack life. Don't be scared of germs, we need them, for our immune system needs sparring, like a boxer. Put your phone down and live life. Play outside, get back to nature. We need to let go of the ego and fear that has infected all our minds and realize it has to stop. We have to stop fighting each other about being offended and fight the real battle. If you look at events through your phone, to record it, to show your contacts how awesome your life is, no one cares that you were there to experience it, so live in the moment. Forget the social media likes, look at the time, the clock is ticking. Get some of that spontaneous physical contact. A total immediate expression. Dynamic explosiveness in every way. Don't put it off till tomorrow. Look at the way you are living your life right now. Are you in fear? The world is full of lies and disinformation. Let's not add to it, but make a positive difference by finding uncensored information and sharing it. Materialism and greed are robbing you of your life. Are you a slave to consumerism? Well, you must break free of these chains of foolishness, anger, jealousy, and move towards appreciation, compassion, generosity, genuine quiet contribution, simplicity and truth. Let's not spend our time in immediate gratifications, but we need to place our focus on discipline to challenge yourself constantly. Continuous learning, rising to the occasion. You are your own worst enemy. Learn from kids again. The world as we used to know it will never go back to normal. We must accept and adapt to this new set of circumstances and be ready for some difficult times. We must develop mental strength. To train our mental strength, follow the basic principles of the laws of nature. Take responsibility. Walk the walk. Don't blame or argue. Have thicker skin and a sense of humor instead of feeling hurt. Relish the fun and the scars. Everything mentioned here is nothing new. Just a fresh reminder to collect yourselves in this mess. Let's stop the infighting and stand together and be better humans. Find the truth. Fight the real battle. Stand united. Never be too busy to sharpen the blade. Remember, the fight we have is overcoming fears and habits that do not serve you or others well. Break the habit of blaming and controlling and create better feelings and fun. Take a leap of faith. Illness may weaken your body, but not your determination, unless you let it. Destroy fear and go for it. If you get scars, you get scars. Let's not be afraid to die off yesterday's beliefs and live now to gain the flow. To improve your character and be simpler, we have a choice to do better and be better. Listen more and open your mind to learn constantly as it is a flowing state. Destroy stress, selfishness, lies and fear. It is the enemy and we must actively weed it out from everything. Whatever life brings, Use it to your advantage. The way to be free is to let go of anything that is not within your control. Old habits, restrictive thought processes, and ego must go. Stand up. Embrace courage. Movement. Love. Honesty. Play. Do what needs to be done without putting it off. The time is now. We are bombarded with countless ways to achieve health and infinite methods to get fit. It requires sticking to the basics that has worked for many generations before us. A more active lifestyle, eat foods from the earth, not processed. Breathe deeply consistently. Keep a correct posture pushed out of comfortable routines, as technology is at the beginning of this era. 
we are depleting our bodies of what it needs to be at its full potential. Stretch out on the floor and move more. This is your life and have every right to live your full potential unrestrained by limiting beliefs. Being motivated is just one part of creating the character that will set you free. You must break the strategies down into steps. Then reinforce this as a mission statement to keep on track. Get to bed earlier already prepared for tomorrow. This is where the day begins. Wake up. The time is ticking. Continually remind yourself that someday you will die. So this will inspire you to stop wasting time and overcome petty activities like materialism and selling out your character to fit in. If you act to impress others, or hesitate out of fear or understand. You are on the wrong path. Prepare yourselves, the easy times are over. Develop a strong mind and the body will follow. Everything has its price. No time for small talk now. Let's go. Let's fight. 